overloading and it is one of the important point in object oriented programming from the interview point of view it is one of the also important points so 0 to 3 years 0 to 5 years interview question so what do you mean by method overloading first of all you see and we will see the definition when a method is defining when a method is defining multiple times multiple times means more than one time when a method is defining multiple times in a class to perform multiple tasks to perform multiple tasks is known as method overloading is known as method overloading so it is possible that one method can define more than one time so multiple times a method we can define to perform multiple tasks such concept is known as method overloading so here method name is same but they are different they are different by their signatures by their signatures so i will uh, take an example for providing the clarity method name is same but they are different by their signature how they are different i will show you it is an example of compile time polymorphism compile time polymorphism so polymorphism it is one of the feature of object oriented programming the meaning is ability to take more than one form we will see how method overloading is an example of compile time polymorphism that we will discuss and particularly it is an example of compile time polymorphism so polymorphism is one of the feature of object oriented programming so what do what is the meaning ability to take more than one form so how the method of overloading supporting this feature that i will take an example and i will give the clarity okay so now i will come to my intelligent idea environment so i will go to src folder you see so any dot java file because every java program is a what dot java file class name dot java so any dot java file if i want to develop i will go to src folder so right click so i will create a new class so before that if you if you want to create a new package also there is no problem if i will write com.cylon so a new package created so under new package so again right click on new package then new class you can do that okay so uh, my class name is suppose overloading let overloading dot java okay overloading dot java let it so here now a dot java file created and my uh, file name is overloading dot java okay so i can now suppose let i have a class demo and one method i am uh, defining suppose a so method let it my method name is so method and one output statement i will write system dot out dot println so one message suppose i will write java means ceylon software let it so what i did 
demo is one class that I defining. So inside the demo class, one method I defined that is so method. So method body is nothing but an one output statement that is one message will display. Then again I am defining so method, but uh, we have written signature must be different. So taking this so method, taking one int argument. So I will write one output statement system dot out dot println within this method I will write x equals to the value of x. You see the method name is so here the method name is so we have written so method name is so in method overloading context the method name is so same but they are different by their signature here method name is same method name is so and here method method name is so so but this method taking no argument here within parenthesis there is no argument here within parenthesis there is an int argument so again i will suppose define another so method so let double t comma double q so let system dot out dot print ln let the value of p it will display i will give a space then the value of q okay so so method i defined three times first so method representing just displaying a message that is java means Ceylon software second so method taking an int argument displaying x equals to the value of x next time so method that i have defined so it is representing what to double value is displaying that is the value of p the value of q now i will go to next so this is my step number one in step number one i defined a class but this class property is three times so method so method so method that i have defined so now this method definition how it will execute when this so method will invoke by demo class object okay so i will i will go to main method till now i have not written main method so i will go to another class so i created another class so write public static void main string args string args okay so main method you present in which class so that class name dot java is your file name you remember okay so first line is the object declaration let my the class name is demo because this demo containing demo class property so already we have known an object if i will declare so that object will contain the class property so here i will take an object of demo class so class name object name equals to new class name then parenthesis so now obj is the object of a demo class so that means the object obj will contain the demo class property so now three times so method that i have defined so we will call that so method by the object now obj dot so method so obj dot so method an int value i will pass so when this is called as message passing in my last class that already i have given the clarity so when this line will execute when so method is invoking by the object obj and here there is no argument the control will go to this part so this so method definition will execute because this so method having no argument and you remember method definition 
एंड मेथड कॉल द सिग्नेचर मस्ट बी सेम ओके सो नाउ व्हेन दिस लाइन विल एग्जीक्यूट हियर आई हैव गिवन द वैल्यू 100 सो इट इज एन इंट वैल्यू सो द कंट्रोल विल गो टू सो मेथड डेफिनेशन व्हेयर द सो मेथड टेकिंग एन इंट आर्गुमेंट सो दिस पर्सन विल एग्जीक्यूट सो when this line will execute this person will execute then next point i will write obj dot so method so let it 4.5 comma 6.7 so two double values that i have taken so when this line will execute then this person will execute so very simple now this is my program and this program representing method overloading because so method method name is a so method name is a same but they are different by their signature first so method having no argument second so a method having one int argument third so method having two double argument so they are different by their signature now you see now i will hit run now i will hit so you see so i executed and i got the output java means Ceylon software x equals to 100 4.5 there is a space then 6.7 so this is method overloading another example also so i will take for providing the clarity okay so this is one example of method overloading and one point that i have told it is an example of compile time polymorphism so method having ability to uh what display uh, this message java means Ceylon software same so method having another ability to display an int value same so method having another ability to display to double value so ability to take more than one form so that is representing polymorphism so here at the time of compilation the compiler is understanding this fact so hence we can say it is an example of compile time polymorphism so i can take another example also so program suppose another example right click on package a java class uh, let it area examples uh, suppose my program name is what i want to uh, find the area of rectangle area of uh, triangle area of a circle using method overloading concept so again i am repeating my question i want to find java program to find area of a rectangle area of a triangle area of a circle using method overloading using method overloading so what i will do very simple method name must be same and three tasks we have we have to find out the area of rectangle area of a triangle area of a circle so three tasks we will represent that means we will define three method but using method overloading concept method name i will keep as same but they will be different based on by on their signature by their signature you see suppose uh, let i will take class areas okay so class areas guys one So, 
let it uh, this is my class areas suppose now i will define a method public void area method suppose first method i will define and that will represent the area of a rectangle area of a rectangle is length into breadth so within bracket so i will take the argument you remember how many arguments i will take within bracket you remember the number of input suppose i will take int length comma int breadth number of input is the number of argument now here i will take an an output variable then i will write my business logic a equals to length into breadth then output statement is mandatory that we have to write because without output statement output message never coming to the picture so i will write the output statement system dot out dot print ln so i will write area of a rectangle area of rectangle is so i will give a space for decorating the value of a so this is one method definition and this method definition representing area of a triangle sorry area of a rectangle okay so area of a rectangle that is length into breadth number of input that i have taken as number of argument so here an output so any task when i will write the business logic before that little bit analysis that i will do how many number of input how many number of output what is the business logic output statement i will write so little bit analysis that i will do before that so then i will go for area of a triangle but method name i will keep as same because using method overloading concept that we have to do okay so public void let my method name is area so area of a triangle is 0.5 into base into height signature in which way that i will consider i will take so that will be different so i will write double base comma double height so now first area method taking two int argument now this area method i am taking two double argument so in this way i can differentiate this area method and this area method if suppose i will take uh, int base comma int height so error will arise because at the time of compilation the compiler only understand the type so two int two int so it is error signature must be different okay so then an output variable suppose i will take let ar ar equals to i will write my business logic 0.5 into base into height then i will write the output statement without output statement output message is not coming to our picture so i can write so the area of a triangle the area of a triangle is so i am giving a space then let the value of ar so you see this is representing method overloading you see method name area method name area so it is a same but they are different by their signature so first area method taking to int argument second area method taking to double argument now i will go to next method next method definition will represent area of circle so public void area method circle area is pi r square so input is 1 let double r so let my output is double arr arr equals to pi 3.141 into r into r so i will write the output statement system dot out dot frontlen so i can write the area of circle 
area of circle is so i will give a space the value of a r so in this way three methods i define first method definition representing area of rectangle second area method definition representing area of triangle and third area method definition is representing area of a circle so hence it is representing method overloading then step number 1 completed then we will go to step number 2 step number 2 is very simple main method declaration under main method object declaration object dot method name public static void main so string args so very simple so now i will take the object so my class name is areas so whatever the class is containing within curly bracket begin and curly bracket end whatever anything we have written that is the class property so i will take the object areas let object obj equals to new areas okay but actually so in uh, what uh, good uh, programming so class name object name in this way actually we will write areas in this way so this small a this is the object name okay so now so i will write okay so you do one thing um, so you take obj as a beginner it will be better for you so i will uh, sweat so I, what i did i declared an object of areas class then first obj dot area so area of a rectangle so this method taking two int argument so when i will call let two int value i will take because when this line will execute so control will execute this person then obj dot area so two double value 3.4 comma 5.6 okay so when this line will execute then this person will execute then obj dot area so let it suppose 4.5 okay so when this line will execute then this person will execute so in this way so we presented the whole program and this is representing method overloading here in st step number 1 we uh, defined a class so name of the class is areas and i defined three method area method area method area method but uh, this area methods different by their signature first area method taking to int argument second area method taking to double argument third area method taking one double argument so first area method definition representing area of rectangle second area method definition representing area of a triangle third area method definition representing area of a circle so when i will call this method by the object then one by one area method definition will execute now so i will run so now we will check so we will get the output you see so we will get the output we got the output area of rectangle is 30 the area of a triangle is 9.52 the area of circle is this okay so happily so happily we got the output and we got an observation so what it is an example of polymorphism area method having ability to perform area of a rectangle same area method having another ability to perform area of a triangle same area method having another ability to perform area of a circle so ability to take more than one form so this point it is satisfying so hence we can say it is an example of polymorphism it is an example of compile time polymorphism because at the time of compilation the compiler understanding this facts so i hope this is all about the concept of 
Java method overloading. So I hope everybody got clarity.